guys and gal, this is James, how are you? Uh, today's video is gonna be me getting ready really, really, really quick. But um, I just got my package from Yastao. I'm gonna do my smoky eye look um, inspired by the Everybody music video by Shiny. Yeah, but before we start, um, you know, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment. Yeah. So let's keep it easy. Um, we're gonna do this palette, the balm. So let's start with Soul Tree right here. I'm gonna put it um, a quick wash around here. This should be really easy. And then if you don't have a color like this, you could just use a bronzer. I think it would work great. This would just act as a transition color. So when I work with the darks, um, it's gonna blend easier because if I go in with the dark, it's gonna be so patchy. So let's see. So I was using, I was using brush this big. Yeah. I'm gonna switch to a smaller, flatter one so I could get on the lower lashes. Um, shoot, I have a brain fart. So I'm gonna go with a, this powder, which is what I use to contour. Um, this one is CoverGirl Buff Beige, and I'm gonna use it to kind of blend out this eyeshadow. Same brush. Okay, so after that, I'm gonna use this right here, this dark brown, sleek. So first I use sultry, now sleek. And I'm gonna do it right here. And start packing it in. I usually don't do too many smoky looks because I feel like it's a lot of effort. Also, um, I have dark eyes, so if I don't wear contacts, sometimes I feel like it looks too scary. So yeah, I just kind of stay away from it. But I'm gonna pack it in to see where I want the intensity to be at. Somewhere there. Kind of match the shape around. I think that's good. And then let's switch to a smaller brush. This one to go underneath the lash line. Yeah, I guess all the way. I'm gonna take this, kind of clean it off on my hands, and then um, I'm gonna swirl it around to blend it, and then I'll go back to Soul Tree to add more. But right now I'm just gonna mix the two together with a somewhat clean brush, half clean brush. I do like smoky looks, but a lot of people say I look too scary when I wear it, so I try not to not to do it because People would tell me, they already tell me I have like resting bitch face, so this would not help. Okay, let's go with Soul Tree. And I'm gonna put it right here to kind of clean up that blend. Now I'm gonna get this Seductive, which is like a brown that's shimmery, and I'm gonna put it right here in the middle. This brush looks stained, but there's no pigment on it. I washed it, I swear. Okay, after that, I'm gonna get Snobby, which is a kind of a yellowish, like a muted, more golden color. Put it in the center. Okay, now clean this off and swirl it around. Let's go back to sleek and deepen this part. Okay, now with my flat brush again, I'm gonna go with Sirius, which is black, and I'm gonna line the top part just by pushing it in. So this wig cap came with one of the wigs I got from yesterday. Ah, uh, I got caught my piercing. Why? <laughs> okay, let's draw my brows. I have Etude House drawing brows in front of me. Don't know what color, but okay. I'm gonna draw a bit straighter. 
This is brown. Wish it was blonde, but I didn't bleach my brows, so can't. But I think this would be sufficient. So I have this Innisfree brow. Is it brow care? No, it's a mascara. Super tiny, so it's good for me because I suck at putting this on. See, I suck. I already got it on my makeup, but it's just a tiny dot, so no one would know, I think. I just need it to get rid of the powders on my lashes. Or at least some of it. I think it's okay, whatever. 3CE. So, more pencil. Sometimes I like using more than one brow pencil because if I go over with the stroke and they're two different shades, it looks a little bit more natural to me. Um, but that's definitely preference and I'm no expert at brows. Freaking hate brows. Okay, so other side, I think there's a brow cara. Yes. Let's put this on. I'm gonna try this color right here, Vissy Matte Lip Color, but my lips are kinda of dry, so we'll see if it's okay. Well, not bad. It's really sheer, which is good, because it kinda of looks like almost nude in their photos, but I can't pull that off, so this color is not bad. What color is this? 17? BE380 Okay, let's put on a wig and see if I need blush So this wig I got from YesStyle and it's really brassy right here It came in today so I haven't tried it yet but They're blonde <laughs> I wish I got a lighter blonde hair but This is what we're gonna use Oh cool. Okay, not bad. It's kind of roundish, but I could work with this and I will have a hat, so it should be okay. Um, maybe I'll part it more. Yes. Weird. This does not look natural. I need to cut that part, but I don't have time and I think this is sufficient for what I'm going for. Let me show you what else I got in the box. So I got this fake fur jacket, which I got a lot of compliments on my white one, so I got a black one. Looks like that. Pretty cool. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this out today, but maybe next time. I got it for like a MTP look, but also got this hat um, right here, so I could get the military-esque vibe for the everybody. Everybody. And then last time I got this. Okay, this totally looks like cosplay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna add some pins here. Ooh, I did get a blonder wig. I'll try that one on. So I got these two from YesStyle, and then I'm gonna add my plastic tiara one. Cute. Oh no, this looks crazy. Okay. I don't hate it. I don't I don't have any aviators, so I'm gonna wear these. I don't know guys. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I think this might be a fail. Yeah, I think this is a fail. Shoot! Is this wig better? This wig is a little bit more natural looking because of the haircut, but the color doesn't match. How does it look?
I don't know about this, but anyways, I'm gonna go. This jacket is too tight for me, so I'm gonna change. Yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, if you can think of any other looks for me to do, let me know so I could, you know, try it. But yeah, 